Hi, this is Jo Obisujima with a little techie bite for you. So today I just wanted to share about Google Alerts. Now these are really easy to set up and can be really useful. So to start with, it's kind of like the vanity thing. So you put in your name and it'll throw up whether you know, you've been mentioned anywhere in the press or on blogs or websites or whatever. So that's quite good to see whether you know you are in the press and then you can tell whether it's uh, good or sometimes it might not be good. But it's good to know where you've been mentioned. And occasionally, you know, I've been featured in quite a big website and I've not known about it. They haven't contacted me, but they've mentioned me. And, you know, then I can add that to my uh, list of places to, that I've been seen them. So it's quite good for that. It's also good for keeping up with your market, whichever area you're in. So you can put in alerts for, um, say for me, it would be Montessori or homeschooling or something like that. So whatever your niche is, you can put in keywords. Do be a bit careful because you might put in something like raw food, which is really popular at the moment, and it'll throw up loads of results. So be careful on the actual keyword that you use. You can also use it in a similar way for creating content. So, um, you know, you want to be the expert in your field. So by getting the latest information sent to you means you haven't got to go and hunt it down. So it saves you time and it helps you, you know, gather information that you can then collate into blog posts or whatever and uh, share with your audience. Uh, you can get very specific with it, so for example, this one um, has Montessori in quote marks and then site and then my website. So any time that I use the word Montessori on that website, it'll send me an alert. And finally, the reason that I did the video is because recently I had an alert sent through and when I opened it up, I looked at the website and I thought, I don't recognize that. So I clicked through and it turned out they were giving away my paid book, my Montessori book. So they were giving it as a free download. So I would never have known this was going on if I hadn't got the alert set up. So in that respect, it's a really good reason to do it. So it did take me a couple of days to get the website to pull it down and I also found out that there were videos on YouTube that were pointing to the website so I managed to get those removed as well. But like I said, if I hadn't got the alert set up I'd have probably never found out that this was happening. So it's a really good idea to set it up and then you can find out if anyone's doing any dodgy stuff with your stuff around the net. Okay, so how to do it. You need to be signed up with Google, so if you haven't got an account, go and make one. I'm not going to walk you through that because I'm sure you're clever enough to do it by yourself. And once you've got your account set up, you need to go to google.com slash alerts, and that will bring you to this page. And then all you need to do is put in the alert that you want to create. So the Gallery and Museum Survival Guide, this is my second book. If you want to get very specific so it picks out exactly what you've written, then you just need to put little quote marks around it. And you can create alert straight away or if you go to show options. So how often? So as it happens, this is really good if you're in the field where you need the latest news right now. Um, for me, it's not important for that so once a day will fine in fact once a week is probably all right for me but I'll go for once a day sources so you can pick whether it's you know news or blogs or whatever you know if you're looking for something specific then you can pick just blogs or just news I'll have automatic so wherever it gets put up I'll find out the language English you can change that to whatever Region, I keep this as any region, but you know, if you're setting up something that's in German and you're expecting it just to be German results, or if it's a, a like a local event that you're looking for information on, you can set it up for that. And then 
only the best results. This is a good idea if it's quite a wide field that you're searching through. So say raw food, then there's a lot of raw food stuff going on at the moment. So you maybe just want to pick out all results. Or only best results, sorry. Uh, I'll go for all results and then deliver to your email address, which obviously I've blanked out here for privacy reasons. So and then all you need to do is create alert, it takes not even two seconds, and you're done. And that is it. So I recommend creating a pile of them uh, with your name and your website, um, maybe keywords to do with your industry, uh, your website's name as well as your website address. And then you will get an email once a week or however often you've sent it up. So for example, this is what it looks like, Google Alert. And you know, this is nothing very exciting, it's just one of my latest blog posts. But then if I go to the next one, which was the alert for Joe Ebisujima, then I can see I've been on Instagram. But then I got this Montessori inspired activities for preschoolers, which is my book. But then it says PDF, which is what was the flag for me. And I didn't recognize the website either. So then I clicked through and, you know, found out I was being ripped off. So one more thing, um, when you're setting it up, my name is really unusual. There's nobody else in the world with the name Joe Ebisujima. In fact, there's only about 60 people in the world with the surname Ebisujima. So I know I can put Joe Ebisujima in there and if it throws anything up, it's going to be about me. But if you've got a more common name, you know, if your name's Dave Smith, then if you put that in, then every time Dave Smith around the world posts something, you're going to get inundated. So you need to be kind of a bit savvy about the keywords that you use so that you don't get overwhelmed, you know, if you have got a, a common name. Right, so that is the main way of doing it. There is an alternative. You can go to the Chrome Web Store, if you use Chrome, and download this little gadget. And it, it's literally one click. It took like 30 seconds to do. And then you can just click on that and it's got your alerts. It shows you how, you know, what's come up or whatever. And if you go to manage alerts, it's very similar. It's not quite as um, specific as the other one. So you just add, you know, your search term. So it could be, um, let's put in my website. No, oops. And whether that gets mentioned on Twitter or Google or back Twitch, you can pick whichever and save. So you, you can't get as specific as you can with the Google Alerts page, but it's quite handy if you uh, want something quick and easy to do. And that is it. So I hope this helps. Do go and set it up because you never know if somebody's, you know, trying to rip you off or whatever. And that is it for today. And I'll be back with another Techie Bite soon.